BDO Classic and BDO Classic Hardcore, no pay to win. There it is. Ellie the Prophet. That, yeah, if there's no pay to win, no marketplace, no seasonal, no balls, okay? You just got to go in. That's People would bandwagon on that so hard. Are you kidding me? Iron Man 4. This is my brand new Black Desert. All right, this is another Iron Man challenge by a different creator. Okay, Azure's challenge is the one that kind of got me uh, into this in the first place. I know Sick Loot had been doing it for a while, but it was Azure that kind of revitalized it for me. It's an online account, but it has some rules and restrictions. First off, I cannot purchase any pearls, which means no additional weight, inventory slots, or any other items that could benefit my experience. I can only use what is given to me by naturally playing the game. Secondly, I cannot take advantage of the accelerated progression through the seasonal server. That's the most important thing to me. That and the Pearl Shop are the two most important things because now you know what it's like to suffer like the rest of us suffered. And then the marketplace, no marketplace. Which includes any catch-up gear like Tuvala armor or any- Because the marketplace was useless back in the day. ...given through level rewards. But most importantly is that I have zero access to the central market, which means I cannot buy or sell items unless from an NPC. And the goal? I want to reach 700 gear score. I know this is going to be a tedious task, but I'll be in- Or the next closest thing, which evidently is 676. Doing every step of the way. And if at any point you want to read over the rules for yourself, the link will be down in the description below. And with all that out of the way, welcome to Black Desert Online, Iron Man Edition. People, by the way, keep asking in the comments whether or not I'm going to do an Iron Man series. Yeah, you're crazy. There's not a chance. In the previous episode, I, I, I don't hate myself enough to do that. It's the same reason I rolled off of Kuno. We talked about this. Decided to take a break from questing and was finally able to acquire some Asula accessories, which helped boost my stats. I was also able to finish the Calpheon and Media main storyline, which rewarded us with what I swear I saw you react to this before on YouTube. Yeah, this is like the fourth episode. His intro is basically always the same. Though. I believe will be our best main hand weapon until we. I kind of admit, I kind of like that every city had its own market. The central market is the same no matter what city you're in. Did you? I just ruined that man's life right there. It's, just, it's the same reason that when I was a new player, I thought that residential housing was server wide. So I bought every single, I used all of my contribution to buy every single house in Heidel and make it a resident or like, so that nobody else could make it a residence. Yeah, it was like that for three weeks. It was brutal. We can obtain some boss gear and uh, my, my friends never let me live it down, bro. Before I tackle the Magnus and land of the morning light, I wanted to take a detour and complete some tasks that'll make my experience on this account just a bit more convenient. Yeah, you should make an Iron Man mode. What are we talking about right now? You realize I have to play that and I will be so upset the whole time. You guys will get the best content in the entire game. There is no shot. An Iron Man mode that no central market players got to, you know, like no central market, no seasonal. What's the, what else? Is that it? That's all, that's all there is. Just the, the central market is disabled. And there's no seasonal. Bro, that's crazy, bro. Is that it? You thought you owned Heidel. Shut up, bro. There's, there's doable. Played Boquest, Quest. Owned the rest of the server. I figure I could own Heidel. Okay, I think I have... I do. Nice. And since one of the rules states that I cannot purchase any pearls on this account, that also means that I will not be able to have the tent. But there is a brief quest line that does provide a free version of the tent. And unfortunately, you cannot purchase the villa buff with this version, but you can still buy the tent buff that gives an increase to your drop rate. And you know what nobody's done in BDO? Is a BDO blindfolded run. I could eat with that. I could eat. And then... 
this is all i need is a seafood see-through blindfold and some really dedicated mods who may or may not be physicians hey are any of you guys physicians going to be our tent all right nice. yeah okay so i'm going to force enhance this to plus 13 with black zones <laughs> that is never gonna get old i'm never gonna get tired of memeing on that it's just, it's too easy, bro. And then I'm going to force enhance it to plus 14 and 15 with these because I don't have enough to do 13, 14, and 15. So we should be able to do that. Have chat and control your playthrough? That what are we going to do? Like run a poll in chat? Like our first for like every major decision I have account. to do? No, because then I'm going to end up doing land of the morning fucking light on a Kunoichi, dude. Like I do not want to do that. That doesn't sound like fun. And it would be fun for you guys for like 10 minutes before you realize you have to watch the whole Land of the Morning Light quest line. Like... Oh, Twitch oh. plays video. You're crazy. Oh, that feels so you guys good. would get nowhere. But there's Like the little control thing. inputs like from Pokemon, that, that shit would go crazy. I need to put on it. Now, in the last episode, I did briefly talk about these hunter seals, which you can obtain from dark rift bosses, world bosses, and so on. Now, I'm sure some of you may have thought that I would primarily be using these to obtain some black stones, but I found that there's more value in these if you were to exchange them for the ultimate reform stones. This stone is so important. For I unironically think that a blindfolded run in BDO would be giga content. I might actually try it one day. It's like a total f meme. It's just completely blindfold myself and start on a new account. <laughs> and just go in. <laughs> Look at this account because it allows me to upgrade my green tier gear all the way up to yellow tier without failure. I mean, take a look at this grown-up piece, for example. At prize I just run straight to every single MV NPC spamming I'm a physician. Actually, the, the character's name would be I'm a physician. I would be gaining an additional five sheet DP. And if I were to do this for all my other pieces, that'll provide such an increase to my gear. All right. He's huge. Why would you upgrade that one? The Gruno. He watched the animation. That's crazy. Let's go. Finally. I'm Blindfolded C7 and Mugi. Now we're talking. I can't even do that shit when I'm not blindfolded because I don't do boss plus. a little bit of a higher one because I am very limited on my materials. But let's see how this goes. Ha! Ooh. Come on. Attempt two. There's an hour of grinding. Two hours of grinding. Oh, this is not You fun. think I'm kidding, guys. That's that's what it was like back in the day. Like it is, but it isn't. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, okay. God! Damn. We're, we're basically at a coin flip. First try. Damn, bro. As a fellow Awakening Witch player, you probably know where to buy the quality blindfolded and all related apparatus. Uh, yeah, I'll just no, I'll just close my eyes, guys. I'm. Okay, we're navigating to the Heidel Storage Keeper. Close, blindfolded speed run. I think I'm pretty close, guys. I think we're good. Goddamn first try. That's insane. Somebody put it on YouTube. Um, uh, I'm gonna. I'll post it to the Asmin subreddit. Um, it'll be fine. Yes. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, you can trust me. And now that we have some okay gear it on was, the account, it was for a just for fun thing that I was doing with first stream, so nobody will care. I started to scope out where I could start grinding, and I know that the obvious is to look at Blood Wolf. I knew where it was, guys, because I've done it a thousand times. I've done it like I've run to the Heidel Storage Keeper probably 15,000 times, guys. So, like, 
I, I would know where it is. Supposed to start working on my potion. It's just like if I were to close my eyes and start walking around my apartment, I would know exactly where everything is. It would be fine. Totally, totally the same. But I still want to push for some EXP to unlock the rest of the skills that I have. So I decided to give good old Polly's a try. That's crazy. Almost level 59 on the pack. Guys, I'm losing sight of it, bro. I was kind of like, how is he dashing pack to pack when he's blindfolded, bro? This is ridiculous. And I realized it's an Iron Man. There we Too go, much. baby. We get to add more to prime skills and we get prime blooming. That's going to help our grind tremendously. Look at that. That's so sick. Nice. 59. You're such a. <laughs> Congratulations. What? Congratulations. Marty Box? And after a little bit of grinding here at Polly's Forest, I resumed with our main storyline quest, which brought us into Kama Sylvia, which will also be rewarding us with a few items. And Might as well get the title now and do them all. Yeah, that makes sense. And that rewards us with the... Well, I got one luckily, so I looks like I should just go waste the next 400 hours of my life trying to get this title. The forest eyes makes sense, hearing, yeah. which I will eventually be able to enhance up to try, which is going to be a big, big help. All right, let's get this thing up there. We'll start with a... This dude is using fail stacks stack? on the accessories from the main storyline. I feel like that's appropriate. This is nuts. Nice. Okay. N no stack. way. Stop um, using fail stacks. Stop. Stop. Let's put a... You don't even again. lose okay, durability when you that's fail. Okay. Like We'll do it. We'll do it. Come on, baby. Oh... Let's go. Yeah. Stop it. 25 is okay. Yeah, yeah. That's Stop good. it. Dude. All right, here we go. Come on, try. Oh. Why does it disappear? This pisses me off. Sometimes it disappears like that. Try your. What fail stack should I attempt a pen black star with a J hammer? Uh, nothing. You're literally Jesus incarnate. You don't really need a fail stack. You just put it in there and it literally becomes pen. It's guaranteed. Realistically, over 200. Hey, baby. That helps so much. Okay, so remember that crystal I was mentioning earlier in the quest line? This is the second. 240 or higher. No. Over 200 is fine. Second of three that we need to make our rebellious crystal. And that's going to be really, really big to have. Yeah, because he only gets one. Is that it? Oh my gosh. Comma Sylvia down. Congratulations. Only 700 more quests to go. Not even joking, he still has to do Land of the Morning Light. He still has to do Mountain of Eternal Winter. He still has to do the rest of the main story to get through Ulaquita and stuff. Valencia quest line. Like, let's, literally, like, this dude has on God at least 400 more quests to go. Odalita to two. Odie's, Odie's 150 quests by itself. Plus all the journals, dude, like... Okay, and I finally get these boots, the Valiant Catan's boots. This will be, I believe, the last main storyline piece of gear that I get in terms of armor. So we have full armor gear. And then this one I also got from armor, but it's the same exact stats from the one I got dropped earlier. But now we have that, which is pretty solid. Okay, and then after fighting some of the Gahaz bandits... We are finally rewarded with the red sand crystal ring. This is going to be a big help here on this account because I can similarly get this up to try like the forest eye earring. It will not be netting me a lot of AP, but I mean, compared to this. I don't know about the rest of you. I can't wait to watch him literally go around finding Dokebi chests for like nine hours. This Six increase, and then once I leveled up. Although they did make it easier, there's like indicators now. Which will be huge. Katan Awakening Weapon Box. Do you Kron duo to try Fallen God attempts? Oh yeah, 100%. Is this the item? It is. Okay. Yep, that's the Abyssal thing, right? An increase. Let's go. 
we take oh, wait. that? I, I don't even know what that is. What even is that, bro? Is this? I cannot. Put okay, the gun down. But we will take that for now. Okay, this was the weapon that I was thinking of earlier. The Catan Crescent. BDO Classic, boys. You think we wouldn't all immediately jump on the BDO Classic bandwagon? We're like, you can't use the Central Market, no seasonal. Now, you got to keep like the basic shit in the game, though. Silver, silver should not have weight. Like, you know, you keep like the basic shit in the game that we don't have to worry about, right? But like, no pearl shop. Like, no, no pay-to-win stuff, no marketplace. Oh, God. Just like Calpheon, then they release, like, expansions with it. Oh, my God, bro. Shit would be crazy. Pass? I think that a lot of people would do it. I do. I think that a, a decent amount of people would absolutely do it and then remember why they like the current game so much and come back. Blade, but here's the... BDO Classic and BDO Classic Hardcore, no pay-to-win. There it is. Ellie the Prophet. That, yeah, if there's no pay-to-win, no marketplace... No seasonal, no balls, okay? You just got to go in. That's... People would bandwagon on that so hard. Are you kidding me? Now, keep in mind, BDO... BDO Classic would have to be like... I don't know, BDO Classic and BDO Hardcore are probably two different things. You can't do Hardcore like they did at the way in WoW. If you, in Black Desert, if you had something where your character dies and you have to start over, yeah, that shit's over. Cho's just sitting on the node farming everyone. Like, there's, n there's no way. No one would get to play the game. So, like, it'd be a different kind of hardcore. But it would probably still be fun. Ultimate one? Have y'all seen Sick Loot? We literally just watched this video. This one's green. But I, I can't I do think that, this one. I do think there's a fair amount of the player base that would play BDO if they removed the Pearl Shop and the Marketplace and Seasonal. And just dropped it as BDO Classic. That shit would go hard. And I think there, there might even be more players back because there wouldn't be any pay to win. There's a certain amount of people that don't play BDO because there's there's pay to win. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can enhance this one unlike the other. So theoretically, I should be able to get this one. <laughs> Ten people I know that play Kuno will play that. The normal one. I don't, I don't know. know if I think people will enjoy though, it. But it does give me the extra AP against monsters, so it it might. What may be the reason Ooh, another pet, okay. What do you want? Seeing people hit duo ogre rings would be content, bro. Valencia, no. You guys don't understand what it was like. Almost done. I think this is the last quest. Yeah, they give uh, you like a seven-day outfit to try to get you to buy the, I'm just the normal one. That one for the weapon. And then I think I'm done. You're good, tick tick. Wait. Yeah, that's Tito all case. Valencia. All right, but I read your little note here. Read your name right Recording and editing this video. I did come across an issue where I'm stumped as to where I'm supposed to get this awakened spirit crystal. <laughs> it is the last crystal that I need. In um, the awakened spirit crystal you have to get from turning in seals, right? Or wait, where do you get that from? Do you get it from a quest? Where do you get the awakening spirit crystal from? In order to make my rebellious spirit crystal. And I think about over a year ago, they used to have it where Valencia was split up into two main storylines, and then they condensed it into one, and then I think they split the second part off into something else, uh -huh. which is where you're supposed to originally get this, yeah. because Valencia... Oh, Valencia part two is no longer part of the main story, but you can still do it. It's still got the same rewards. This treasure, the value of a treasure, is the quest line so that you get you it from Valencia too. the second part of Valencia, but because they, they moved it around or did something... I am actually stuck as to where I'm supposed to obtain this item. So if anyone here. Where did they put it, bro? Where do you even get Valencia 2 from anymore? It's hidden. You got to go talk to Afaru in Valencia City. Okay, well, I can... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test that right now. I've heard enough bullshit from chat. I, I want to know. Look, sometimes people just say stuff and they don't think I'm going to verify it. I'm going to check. Valencia treasure, Valencia... What is this? 
That's something else. Is it this? This dude don't have a quest for me, bro. And I have not done Valencia Main Story 2. I've done the Valencia Eastern Sand Kingdom, but not the other one. Might need Amity. Did they just remove it because they were ashamed of how terrible the shovels were? It's okay to admit it. Valencia 2 is Valencia Treasure. I would totally experiment and do this. But I don't want to. So we're not. I'm just going to take chat's word for it on this. That has to be it, right? Legit takes five minutes. Valencia 2 does not take five minutes. Ain't no way Valencia 2 takes five minutes to get done. Mm hmm. Like, it, shouldn't it show me, like, the quest line that I'm doing? Right? Steal a book from the royal pa palace. Yeah, I mean, this kind of looks like it. I just don't want to do this. And that probably means that it's Valencia too. All of that to say, that's how you do it, man. Who knows where I'm supposed to get this as of now? Please feel free to leave a comment down below and help me out. Right, oh, we want to watch you do Valencia too. Yeah. In one. Why are you test. watching? Skip it. What are you thinking? Ba -da -ba -da. Nice. Do not use fail Ten stacks stack on this. At another 70. We definitely win these. Took me 30 shovels. Not Ooh. in my day. Okay, as much as I want to use these 20 stacks, um, I know I'm going to need all these stacks that I got in from the login rewards way later on. So... I'm just going to cross my fingers and hope he we gets it. it. He's carried and he's reported. Yeah. Oh so when you put in your support gosh. ticket, make sure you Let's... emphasize that this is the main story ring. We're upset about him getting. Go. That's huge. Oh my gosh. Wait, he's okay, actually got I the AP to do like ahas and stuff now, one, which is the same AP. But if I do get it to try, he's crazy. My AP goes up by three. DDO codex. What is this? Okay. Oh, so it is. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. Okay. Valencia's treasure. All right. So yeah, just go talk to a farm, man. Good luck. We're all praying. But Thoughts and prayers, man. Ring off. I'll lose the three set effect, which gives me 300 HP. Tragic. And I think at this low level where I have barely any, I think that's worth it. So I'm just going to keep this one on. Bro, I would just put all the... I'm just gonna put keep... both sand crystal rings on, put pull forest okay, eye rings, earrings on. Okay, and I don't know if I unlocked this with completing Valencia or if I unlocked it prior, Do you earn silver rewards for PvP? I can start yeah, the Uchida little bit. quest line. And that's very important because I get such a good power stone at the end of this quest line. And I realistically don't think I'll be getting a Vel's heart on this account, but we'll see what happens. Dude. Yeah, Chiru, he does get the uh, the power stone thing. Dude, what on earth is this? Okay, I don't know if anyone else used to play those old Ten games back in the day, but this what is this reminds me a lot of it. That does not oh, remind me of that game. Here. Oh, he has a lot of health. Okay, not no. I don't know how long this is gonna be. 258, oh, 315s okay. to full send centaurs. Done, I... uh, if your class is good enough for it, yes. Again, I'd watch my guide to make sure your class I is fine for it. that's the last time we have to fight him. Centaurs is not the and end all be all. You can also go to Achman or History as well. Is complete. Or Kurtuga. Tours Power Stone. I don't know where it went. Where is it? Did I get it yet? Ah. Okay, I had to summon him. He did not get the it yet. Tor's Power Stone. That's this crazy upgrades. I believe is going to be our best. 
especially since you were working with a life spirit stone before. Is a thing. This is pretty crazy. I realistically don't see myself getting that. How does he gas his Ator's power stone back up? How does he gas his alchemy stone back up? Nah, dude. Grinding spirit stones? You're crazy. You're actually crazy. There is no way, dude. Grind polys. Get out, dude. No. Unless I get super lucky on one attempt. But for now, this is going to be... Oh, if you're a suck zerk, yeah, you need to go to centaurs. Be your best friend. And with that, it feels like we've completed a big chunk of the main storyline. I know that we still have the drawn out Magnus. Only 700 quests to go. The morning light quest landing. I forgot about the Magnus. Magnus, Land of the Morning Light, um, Odalita. Um, I think he already did Mountain of Eternal Winter, so he's good there. Uh, he's got to do all of his adventure logs, which is like, you know, a thousand quests right there. Um, so he's probably got about 2,000 quests to go at this point. To complete, but I'm basically at the point in the game where I can start trying places maybe like Shira Ruins, 1500. or maybe even Blood Wolves maybe to start working towards my... It if depends on how much, how many quests you count the adventure logs as. Infinite potions. I know there's still a lot of boxes that need to be checked off on our list, but we're going to be enjoying this journey one step at a time. So until the next episode, I'll catch you all soon. I can't even imagine doing something like this, dude. There's just no way, man. I just can't play the game if I'm not enjoying myself. And, like, the entire point of that series is to just not enjoy yourself. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. It won't last long if you don't enjoy yourself. Yeah, no, I'm just not... Iron Man series are just not my thing. I would play like a BDO like hardcore because it would be really good content, but I'm not going to restrict my gameplay for that. That's crazy. You're actually just insane.